okay that's it all but uh, when I'm looking at the uh, rather point now I want to use this new uh, effect and if I oh I want it sorry so I'm just late I should see on a new complete system here okay and again the reason for our uh, uh, big square uh, thing is that I think I have rather a fluder high in place so if I move it down yeah we have the radar system, our new radar system, okay? So let me just play it on maximize mode so that we can take a nice look. It will be a little slow for now. Yeah, now it's working, okay? So if you take a look, uh, let me play a little more. see we have our radar map in radar form and uh, of course our arrow is right on top of the out horizon of that but uh, we can see that I don't know why it's not moving but it should be okay so that's just it I mean uh, just you need to create a new type of anything you want and you'll see just in unity and uh, that's it for the rather the rather uh, occluder and arrow and uh, the real forest roadmap the only thing remaining is our endpoint if I find it, okay. The end point is a simple particle system. It's really simple. It's anything, a minimum size of three and maximum size of three, with uh, little energy. But the main thing is minimum emission and maximum emission is equal to 1 with no word velocity, nothing, not velocity, not random rotation, nothing at all uh, simulated in real world and it's just one shot all the colors are white and uh, I think it's, it's a simple texture and uh, let me see yeah. okay now if we go back a minimum size of one you can see that's coming bigger sometimes and uh, what else do we have it's equals all to zero and what else let me see let me see oh, come on ah here it is it, uh, shader is particles alpha blender okay remember that uh, so it's particles alpha blender a type of uh, uh, texture and tiling is equal to one with no offset mm -hmm. there is no UV animation uh, the material is a new material that uh, defined 
so the only thing is that uh, needed to address in this effect is just the size and a little energy with just anything you want each time a simulating in war one shot with new uh, material that's type particles alpha blended and the texture if you can see it it's just a simple uh, texture in Photoshop again please okay. uh, with again very nice uh, dense alpha in the center and around meaning that it's uh, completely uh, I think pack okay so that's it uh, of course you don't need this type of alpha as I mentioned here without any alpha channel just when you are creating something in Photoshop you can uh, do anything nice for example again, let's call it 128, 128 transparent background okay with gradient and it will be circular and for now I like to show the rulers and zoom and rulers with pixels okay it's 128 so 64 is right in the center it's right in the center okay when I'm choosing the gradient I'm moving from center up to for example outer and bingo I have the gradient here and the layer and it's just something like uh, the same thing here but uh, without transparency here so how can I choose the transparency I just select color range and this one ok and delete and control D I mean go I have something uh, to work and start with and uh, again I can choose any other color for example blue okay and do from here to here oh sorry I need a new layer and do from here oh, oh, I can't do that okay I just choose the ellipsoid so it hmm. use the rulers. Always like to use the rulers. Something like that. And the ellipsoid will be like this one. Okay. And just right click stroke uh, with the example of for example I don't know, 20 pixels and yeah normal why not with opacity of uh, 30 for example and click OK and then go we have another type of beacon here and uh, of course the alpha channel is created for you that's it uh, for your beacon and your target of course it's the same principle uh, just uh, some kind of transparency here and uh, stroke with less uh, uh, pixels here and a simple solid color uh, filling with a uh, color here and I think that's all for our bootcamp camera uh, bootcamp system and it's around 1 hour 20 minutes in total uh, I hope you enjoyed it and if you 
think that you may not be able to create all this stuff just select your header and uh, uh, create a prefab for it and then export the prefab as uh, a package for example I may use the uploader because it has a hole in it or maybe you can make it uh, in any uh, 3D program you like yourself later on so uh, in the next uh, tutorial I'll start using this rather arrow uh, that you can see here in your uh, gameplay around the outer surface and by that I'll just uh, create a new system to oh, look at this funny thing where are the arrow? My little little nice arrow, where are you? If I can see it. Oh yeah, yeah. Here is the arrow, okay. Uh, I'll create a system to uh, show different directions for different uh, objectives and if you remember in intro I addressed a funny behavior when you are uh, moving near your uh, endpoint and the endpoint is coming into view but uh, you won't uh, uh, see that uh, arrow to be uh, hidden and it will be remained there we will address this issue and until the next tutorial have fun uh, but uh, the only thing I think to mention is if I can move this uh, character around I'm not sure that it's not moving but, uh, if you move around uh, all the uh, uh, all the maps will be rotated so these four arrows will be rotated and maybe you don't want these to happen. The easiest way for that is to uh, remove this rider point from the uh, rider camera to somewhere else in hierarchy so that it won't rotate with the rider camera for example move it to rider and that's all that's uh, needed. So I just uh, save it like that and We'll come back in the next tutorial to uh, work on that uh, rather arrow and take a look at the possibility of its usages in future tutorials. Have fun until then. Thanks.